girl Henny, and today I'm gonna be eating four times mala fire noodles with Wagyu beef. So let's dig in because I'm so hungry. So today I decided to add some Wagyu beef to my mala fire noodles because if you guys have tried Chinese hot pot with beef, it is delicious. And this mala is basically the same as the Chinese hot pot taste. So let's try it. Get some noodles. You guys can see how red the beef is, right? I actually added or dunk it in my nuclear fire sauce over here. So let's try this noodles. Cheers! I have this cute whale dish right here to put my noodles on. Mmm! My beef. Just how I imagined it. Guys. You have to try this. If you guys don't like soupy stuff, and you like the mala taste, this is your go-to noodles with Wagyu Premium Beef. I never knew meat goes so well with instant noodles. Mmm. Well, you have some noodles. Well. Pickled radish. I was so excited about today's mukbang, not because of the food, well the food too, but I finally got a table where I can sit like a normal person. You guys probably don't know, but I used to sit cross-legged on a low coffee table and film for about an hour, an hour and a half. My space was really limited and the coffee table was like half this table size, so I am so excited. <laughs> For the new setup and to a new mukbang setup. Cheers! Wow, these mala fire noodles taste a lot better today. I don't know if they changed a little bit of the ingredients, but wow. I don't remember the mala 4X fire noodles being this good. Mm. I forgot how comfortable it is to sit on a table and eat and enjoy your food. Wow, it's like a whole new world. So today, I went to the Korean market, Japanese market, and Costco. It felt like there was a zombie apocalypse. A lot of the shelves were empty because a lot of people are like stocking up on food, water. Costco ran out of water. Can you guys believe that? Costco. In the Asian markets, they were out of a lot of the noodles, instant rice, rice, Noodles, noodles, it is always good to have extra water at your house. 
I always kept extras just in case there's going to be earthquake here in California. I always leave a case of water bottle next to my bed. You guys, I'm so happy I can stretch out my legs. Wow, so happy. I know my head is getting cut off a little bit. I have to hunch down a little. I will have it fixed by the next video. I was just so hungry. And I thought the setup would be okay, but it is a little bit too low. I'm taller than I thought. This meat, delicious. You know, someone in the comments mentioned something about my forehead. They said, Hyani's forehead looking as high as Mount Everest. And I was like, I have a forehead, not a five head. My head be looking like Mount Everest. forehead is that big it just looks big on camera If you guys ever try this combination, let me know if it tastes like hot pot, Chinese hot pot, because I think it does. Two. 
tears to my Mount Everest forehead. And this is gonna be my last bite. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And to become a Henny Bee and like this video if you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye bye.